All right, welcome back, guys, with another episode of Amori. Time for the quick recap. What happened last time was that we had a dinner at uh, Basil's house, and we discovered that Basil's going through some shit, and he sees the same stuff that we're seeing for some reason. And now we're back in the dreamland, trying to look for the dream Basil once again. And I also have discovered that I actually saved over the file that I didn't mean to save over it, so we won't be able to go back and try and save Basil, because real son Sonny wasn't able to help Basil back when Basil was going through shit. All right, um, let's see here. Oh, look, a mirror. These can't be good. Oh, okay. That was gonna scare me. Oh, also, in addition, we we're alluded to the fact that their sweetheart is having her own little, um, concert? Contest? Something. And we're going- oh, shit. The bear is gonna fight us? I thought the bear was friendly. Oh, man. All right, don't fight the bear. Got it. I am afraid of drowning. Okay, cool. What the heck is this thing? It's kind of slimy and smells like bad apples. There's more forest on the side of this lump. Come on, Ombre, smash this thing to smithereens. Oh, what's this? You're asking me for help, Kel? How rare. Step aside, I'll show you how it's all done. I'm gonna give this to the strange level all I've got. <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. I guess we should find another way past this thing. Yes, let's do that. Cool. Ah, dodge it. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll go this way then. What are these spider things, bro? Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? We were just kidnapped. Think this is a race against time? It is a race against time. Go and track. Okay, cool. Oh, that scared the hell out of me when the first thing happened. Alright, cool. Let's go back and put the train track on the path right here. Just missing a segment. Yes, I would love to put it there. Thank you. Let's try this side again. Maybe the flight will help us move through. Huh, another wooden track. Cool. Uh, run! Dodge it! Escape! Fuck! Huh, interesting. Ah, pff, bunnies. Heroes afraid of spiders. That's a bunny spider, what the? Kel is severely underleveled. He's been knocked out every single time. Let's go back. I need to heal. Alright, so it should take us all the way over to... Ah, nuts. I should have put it there. I didn't notice that it was missing before. Oh, cool. It's another one missing. I didn't see that one. How the hell am I supposed to find the track, then? Where would it be? Oh. 
Actually, I kind of I want to put that in my book so I can read it. Alright, there we go. I kind of want to read the miscellaneous texts later. Are you creepy too? No, you're not. Hmm. Where else would these texts, uh, I'm sorry, railroads be? Ah! Filthy bunny rabbit. Here you are. Hey, you got a quest. Demi. Hmm, what's a read? What's a read? Uh, I've read every book on this shelf over 20 times already. If only I had something more interesting to read. An uninteresting book. Another uninteresting book. Well, not my problem. Alright, let's go. Gotcha. Wooden track. Nuts. I'm already out, though. Cool. I think that's all the tracks that we need, right? Aha, I lured you out. I really want that melon. Oh, man. Zoo! <laughs> Here we are, let's go! It worked. Hey, this looks really nice. Creepy as shit, but really nice. Sweetheart's Castle, huh? That's my guess. Pink Castle, Sweetheart's Pink, Sweetheart's Castle. Hey, it's uh, Pluto's spaceship. Uh, Basil, are you here? Basil, where are you? Hmm, doesn't look like Basil's here either. Hey, look, it's Mary. Mary, Mary. Oh, hello, everyone. You all made it through the forest. I'm so proud of you. Mary, I... am so scared. Ah, Hero, this is kind of embarrassing. Uh, it's time like these I really wish Basil was here. You could tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't be finding them so creeper. Oh, I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Oh, Hero. You have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe, maybe, or maybe... I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what future brings. <laughs> yes. Uh, for creepy crawlies, you sure is giving me heebie-jeebies. Not to mention I keep hearing skidding from up ahead. It seems like it could be something potentially dangerous, so you all should probably rest up. I'll save. Oh, hello. Sprout Mole, why are you looking like that? Oh, that's not very good. That's not good at all. Um, something's wrong here. Oh, they've all been turned to stone. Ah, here comes the boss battle. Oh. Well, six senses, Amari. That's not good. Let's turn around. I've decided that I do not want to be here anymore. Basil can find himself. Oh, centipedes. Oh, cool. Nasty, but kind of cool.
Game over. Alright, so you may notice that this is a really weird cut. That's because I spent about the last 30-40 minutes just leveling up the characters. They were like level, what, 8? And now they're level 10 and all that stuff. Because I learned a guide and then they said to only the only way to beat the centipede is if you have better stats. Or at least that's how the metagamers are doing it. And you know what? It's not a bad logic, so I want to try it out. Hopefully this time we will beat the freaking living shit out of this fucking bug. Holy crap, is it difficult to fight because it just knocks out all three of our guys. Leaving Mori left alive just to suffer alone. Can we skip this? No, we can't. Okay. Y'all know the drill. Scared thing crawls down. I did notice that it was made of stone, stone versions of these. Uh, what was it? You know, you know those little plant things. I did it! Everybody else is dead, but I did it! <laughs> 3,000 XP? Are you kidding me? Uh, oh, fuck, dude. These other guys aren't gonna get levels for shit. I'll take it. You know what? I could just spend the time leveling these guys up on the side. I should have went back to level up. Oh no, Mary's right there. Cool. Ah, uh, save, I mean. Oh boy. Hey Mary. These sprout moles are such funny creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. <laughs> Did you know sprout moles really love tofu? I brought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. Okay. Juicy tomato. Thank you. Yes, I would love to save. Uh, save here. All right. So, um, here we go. Uh, hello, strange-looking sprout moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's quest for love? If so, you've come to the right place. <coughs> This sold out extravaganza spectacular will be starting very shortly. Wait a second. I know the show. We have front row ch show tickets for it. <laughs> I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the drama. Ooh, this might be foreshadowing. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know. I guess it looks interesting. But now, it doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, hero. We should at least check it out. Please, 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 please. Well, alright. Hopefully this won't take too long. Um, <laughs> If I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Sprout Small, sir. We have our tickets right here. Stop reaching to my pockets. Just... Should have a community backpack. Oh, oh my, I can't believe my eyes. These are front row tickets. You, y'all must have made some great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. 
Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At a second glance, you four are the most normal looking sprout moles I have ever seen. Indeed, I am a sprout mole. Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking sprout moles. Yes. And that's where we're gonna fucking end it. Let's go! Next episode, we're gonna be seeing the show for uh, Sweetheart's Extravaganza Spectacular. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.